What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ken Cobbs, Casey Fitted. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's vlog will be called The Christmas Cooking with KC. It's one of my first episodes and what today we're going to be making is some chicken thighs. It's a keto recipe that I use when I'm on the keto diet. So pretty much, you know, if you guys are trying to do the keto diet, coming into the new year, or you just guys want a nice little recipe, this recipe is be great. You guys start a keto diet. So what we're gonna do is go to the store, we're gonna grab some items, I'm gonna bring them back, and we're gonna break it down step by step of how to make this great recipe. So, with that said, I got a lot of great, great stuff coming in the future for the vlogs, a lot of great stuff at the top of the year that's gonna help the channel grow. So I want you guys to stay tuned with me, stay locked in, baby, and uh, let's get this show on the road. It's your boy, King Cobbs, Casey Fitch. Let's go, let's get it! People, I'm here every week. So, pretty much guys, follow me, let's get it, let's go. Every time I go shopping people, I always go to the meats. I always go to the chicken. So let's go, let's get it. The thing is, I know where everything is at in this store. So, anyway, so this is what we're gonna make here. So pretty much guys, I kinda look to get the cheapest price. These are $6.34. Cheapest ones are right here, even though it's a couple cents. Six dollars twenty-two cents. We'll grab that. Let's go. All right, people. So what I'm doing right now is getting seasonings for the chicken, and I got a lot of seasonings at at home already. So pretty much, I'm just getting some garlic powder and some onion powder. So bam and bam. So we got these three things so far. I'm gonna get some barbecue sauce. They're gonna check out. Let's get it. I really couldn't find no sugar-free barbecue sauce, so we just gonna have to go with what we gotta get. So this is what we're gonna get. Let's go. Right here. Gonna go with this. Nice cheap price. And uh yeah, let's uh check out. Let's go. Alright people, we just made it back from the store. This is uh again cooking with KC. And pretty much we're gonna make these keto thighs. Uh, we got some onion powder here, guys. We got some pepper. We got some garlic powder. We got some paprika, seasoning salt. And uh, this right here is one of my favorite right here, guys. My sh this is the sugar-free barbecue sauce. When you guys are doing a keto diet, I suggest you guys use sugar-free barbecue sauce so it won't keep you out of ketosis. I got some more barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce right here to uh, enhance the flavor because it's only like a half a bottle in here. And we got some aluminum foil so we can put it on our pan. We got a bowl to mix it up. And we also have the main ingredient, the chicken thigh. So, Let's get it started, baby. Let's go. The thing you guys want to do before you guys cook or clean anything, you guys definitely want to wash your hands first. That's step number one with any cooking. So we got our chicken thighs here. And what I usually do, people, is open up the package right here. Got our chicken thighs. Wash them off. I wash them off in cold water, by the way, too. Make sure you get them all in there, get them all nice and clean. Boom. Like I said, guys, this is a very simple recipe, easy recipe, nothing too complicated. You know what I'm saying? You guys can do this. You guys are doing the keto diet. And then, like I said, if you guys got any questions, please put them down in the comment section. Interact with me. I got 115 subscribers or something like that now. So it's time for y'all to give me some feedback, man. You know what I'm saying? So I can help y'all, and y'all can help me. You know? All right, folks, so we got our chicken uh, washed off in a bowl ready to go and I got my seasonings here like I showed you guys earlier so uh, what you guys can do I'm not gonna do this you guys can take all your seasonings I got just simply just some onion powder garlic powder pepper seasoning salt some paprika you guys can just put it in like a little mixer mix all your seasoning together blend them together then put them in there but we're not gonna do that for this so uh, I'm gonna do the honors let's go I'm gonna start off with a little onion powder you guys, you know what I'm saying, when you guys do this, you gotta make sure you guys get all the chicken in there. So make sure you, you guys gotta get your hands dirty. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty now. That's why you can wash them off, you know what I'm saying? Get that onion powder on there. Bada boom, bada bam. Then next we'll just do a little pepper. You know, get that flavor out.
Next, we got some garlic powder, people. Sprinkle a little bit on there. Y'all gonna love this recipe, man. In case he fit it special. All right, so season and salt, bam. You guys don't need too much seasoning and salt, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Depends on how you like your chicken. And guys, the most important ingredient, in my opinion, on chicken is paprika. If you guys haven't tried paprika on your chicken, I suggest you try it. All right, folks. So right now, this is what it looks like uh, right now with all our seasonings in there. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper, a little bit more seasoning salt, just so we can get the extra flavor in there, people. So, with that said, now, what we're gonna do is add our sugar-free g Hughes Smoked House Barbecue Sauce, a world-winning, gluten-free, no fructose in it, very healthy for you, very healthy for the ketogenic diet. So, what we're gonna do, open it up bam just dump it all in there dump it all in there baby you know and what you want to do guys make sure you wash your hands you guys want to just now just get in there and get dirty with it mix them all up just like that just like so just like such baby get in there get dirty with it don't be scared mix it up you know what I mean? Marinate them puppies. I will add some more barbecue sauce in there, but I think it's fine for now. We can always, after we cook them, we can always add more barbecue sauce to them, but I think this is just fine. So, you just wanna pat them down a little bit, like such, pat them down. Then, what you wanna do is uh, kinda just rinse your hands off a little bit. And you can do is just put this, put the lid over. You can let them sit in a refrigerator for an hour. If you want them to marinate and want the extra flavor, you can put in there for a few hours, maybe even half a day, a day even, if you guys want. But that's just an option. But we're not gonna do that. So another tip of mine before we put these puppies in the oven is uh, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna set our oven to 400 and so we're gonna let that heat up as soon as it hits 400 we're gonna throw them in the oven but I'm gonna show you guys another step I'm gonna put uh, aluminum foil on my pan and uh, spray it down I'm gonna show you guys that let's go you guys wanna put some aluminum foil on your pan get another wrap it does have to be perfect people have to be good enough. Now you don't have to put the aluminum foil on there people, but this is just optional if you want to wash dishes or you know what I'm saying, vice versa. So the next step you guys want, want to do is after you guys put the foil on your pan, get some non-stick cooking spray, zero calories preferably, and just lightly spray the, the pan down. Cool. Next step is what we're gonna do is as soon as you guys are comfortable with your chicken, if, as soon as it's done marinating and as soon as you marinate as long as you want it to, take it out the refrigerator, then uh, simply just space them out. Put them on the pan, space them out. Nice juicy chicken thighs, people. So that's that. And uh, we're gonna wait for our oven to heat up and we're gonna throw them in the oven. Then we're gonna show you guys the finished product. Stay tuned. All right, folks, our oven is ready to go. So pretty much what I do is just boom, slide them right on in there. Check it out, people. Now, the key is, is to set the time to an hour hour 15 minutes so have you, if you like them a little extra crispy 
You can do an hour to an hour 15 minutes. So we're gonna do an hour and timer, one hour, start. Stay tuned, let's go. All right, people, this is the finished product. So I'm gonna take the first bite and show you guys how it tastes. Let's get it. KC Fit it. Approved, baby. All right, folks, this was our keto chicken thigh recipe. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This is my first cooking vlog. You guys want to see more of these? Let me know down in the comment section. I will link this recipe in the description box. And uh, we're just going to continue to pump these out. And uh, like the video. If you like the video, guys, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's your boy, Ken Cobbs. KC Fitted. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all.